Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander. Throw down. 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 Ah. Are, these, are these the sound effects I'm adding in post? Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, yeah. Any, any other like requests? Uh, when I introduce Surge, can you play a very loud clown horn? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> My name's Wheeler, and joining me today, I got a surge. Hi. <laughs> you don't also need to make the sound. I'm, I'm just helping for uh, you yeah, no, the no, timing. No, no. Of yeah, it. make sure yeah. you get it right, you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to backseat fully, you know, but... <laughs> Metronome Wheeler. Yeah. yeah. Um, great. And uh, if you like what we do here, even the non-magic stuff, uh, good, because it's all because of you. Uh, and the support that we receive over at patreon.com slash loading ready run using that link will uh, take it to Patreon and you can give us money. Uh, and if you want some other information that isn't related to giving us money, uh, such as the deck lists or the format that we are about to play, uh, you can look at the description down below. I'm playing Paradox Academy. It was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a hard one to sneak in here yeah. because... Um, there are no, I, I don't want to say there are no bad matchups, but this deck can just kill anything and anyone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it just keeps getting better. Yeah. There was a <laughs> while where it went, but then, uh, the deck, I mean, honestly, and I'm going to, I'm going to break the, the wall here. I don't even know if I'd call this Paradox Academy. That's just great for the engagement. Oh, okay. Because we've hit a level of uh, playing cards like Kappa Cannoneer and sure. Urza Saga and Oko uh, and even a new draw seven that You're we not got playing from Lord Paradox, are you? Well, I am. Oh. <laughs> I well, am. Then, well, then what's the problem? Well, I could just kill you without it. I, I, Older versions kind of relied on Paradox sure, Engine. Sure. Uh, I don't. I don't need it. Oh. I could just kill you in a variety of ways. Delightful. Yeah. Uh, bring it on. <laughs> yeah. My points are soaring. Okay. Tinker. Uh, Mana Vault, Crop Rotation, Talarian Academy. That can't be right. That's so many good cards. Yeah, I know. It's great, huh? <laughs> oh, sorry, just filling up on blue mana. What about you? <laughs> uh, all right, you brought a meta deck. I brought a Surge deck, which means it's a homebrew. Okay. I'm playing Abzan Hate Bears. Mm -hmm. So this is a green-white deck, splashing black for a couple of, you know, Orcish Bowmaster, Anafenza, and I couldn't make this deck and not play Thalia and the Gitrog. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's a Hate Bears deck, yeah. right? It's not necessarily an all-in D&T, but it's going to try to disrupt you, and it's going to try and play very aggressively costed threats and kill you before you can kill me. Right. My points are White Mox, Green Mox, mm -hmm. and then I have Crop Rotation, Umezawa's Jite. It's only 8 out of 10, but you know what? Sometimes that's okay. It's nine out of ten. Is that nine? This oh, right, GTA's well. two. This yeah, 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 well. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I've never gotten math wrong in my life. This is, it's the first time for you're, everything. And you're not going to start now, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, now, we did roll the dice. Uh-huh. Who won the die roll, Serge? You did. <laughs> Great. Uh, we got we got to get new dice. There's obviously something <laughs> no, fishy no, no, going no, no, on. No, 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 no. Let's keep these. Let's keep Hold these. Hold on. Or if we're getting new ones, let me use these for uh, weekly events. <laughs> Fair, fair, right. fair. Uh, we have both got hands we like. I got a, I got a hand I like. Great. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. I don't recall saying that, mm. uh, but you too. Uh, ancient Den. Go. Ancient, <laughs> ancient Den. Man. Oh. <laughs> Planes go. Oh. Man, we are welcome to Canadian Highlander. Powerful magic, baby. Both of us with white man on turn one and nothing to do. <laughs> Urza's Saga. Oh, that's a problem. Trigger. Yeah. I hate this for me. Tap two. Yep. I'm going to play Azorius Signet. Okay. Go ahead. Draw for the turn. We are going to play a Forest. Okay. We are going to play a Mox Pearl. Okay. Uh, we are going to spend three mana mm -hmm. and cast a Tireless Provisioner. Okay. Go. Untap. Draw. Trigger. Thinking. Mm. I mean, that's pretty good. If I do that. 
But it's also pretty good if I just make creatures. I'm going to play a Volcanic Island, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pass. Untap. Draw for the turn. We're going to go land, make a treasure. Mm -hmm. I've got these beautiful Minecraft treasure tokens. Ooh. Yeah, given to me by my bud Mark, who is both a Magic and a Minecraft fan. Mark Watson? Yeah. 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 Hey, Mark. I like the trick. He's a Minecraft fan. Well, okay, he's the producer for Minecraft. Yeah, but I yeah, don't, yeah. don't want to like drop that yeah. and be like, you know, kind of, kind of a big deal, you know, kind of a big deal. I don't deal. want to drop that while I'm name dropping <laughs> someone. All right. Uh, you know what? You know what? I think it's time to do a little beep beep here. We're gonna go down to. We're gonna go down to nineteen. Okay. We're going to get another planes. Okay. And then I'm going to shuffle this in a second. We're going to make ourselves a second treasure token. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then, for mana, we are going to cast a Ravages of War. Uh, I'm going to respond. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a construct. Yep. Well, this was a little rude. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> Look, I found the way to beat Wheeler is just to blow up all of his lands. Now the question is, do I still attack and clear your Karnstrak off the board? Because if you play Academy, it's worth two mana. If I played Academy, wouldn't I have played Academy? That's fair. That's fair. Actually, don't uh, don't take anything I'm saying as truth. I may or may not have an Academy in my hand. I'm gonna pass. But you don't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Tolarian Academy. Ah. All right. All right. Uh, good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm going to tap two and filter into a blue and a white. Mm. I'm going to cast Search for Glory. I have no idea what that does. I get to look for a snow permanent, right. a legendary yeah. card, or a saga and put it in my hand. Okay. And then some text that'll never be live in this deck. Uh, so I'm going to find, I got a lot of options. I'm going to grab Urza Lord High Artificer. Sure. And I am going to pass. Untap, draw for the turn. Uh, three green white, sacking yep. two treasure tokens. Uh, I'm going to play Renegade Rallier. Okay. Trigger. Yeah. I'm going to bring back a Marsh Flats Ooh. to make a treasure token. Yeah. Sacrifice this. Go down to 18. Make a second treasure token, and we're going to grab a. Green white land. Yep. Uh, attacks. I'll take three. Yeah. 17. Second main. Oh, no. You wouldn't These are colorless, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Giver of Runes. Mm -hmm. Green, green. Sylvan Library. Okay. Pass. Hmm. Inventor's Fair. Yep. I tap two to play a cup, an ever flowing chalice on one. Yep. Ever flowing chalice. I'm going to tap one and three and play Urza, Lord High Artificer. He's here. Trigger. Yep. I'm going to make another construct. This is a problem. Eh, you got. Stuff. May I? Yeah. Exile the top card until end of turn. You may play that card with a pain its mana cost. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to pass after that. Yeah. Untap. Untap. Sylvan Library. They're both four fours. Yep. 
hate that for me. Yep. Thinking. Do I just pay eight life? The beatdowns are going to start soon. That's a problem. No life. God, I'm scared. All right. Um, Polluted Delta treasure mm -hmm. token. Can I make enough mana off of this? How much mana are you going tapping with? A lot. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. We need to shuffle some stuff away here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go grab the... By you. Mm -hmm. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you. <laughs> oh. That's it. Come and take a ride with me. I got money in the bank. Ooh. -wee. I'm going to take you home with me. I got money in the bank. I'll tell you what you think about oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> we in the club like, ooh. Oh, oh, Boromir. This oh, is being oh. brought to you by people <laughs> age 30 to 30. How old are you? 30. You don't have to dox yourself. Okay. 30. Great right after all that, this video definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got no good attacks. Okay. I have a Boromir out though, though, so that at least shuts off the um, spin the wheel. Big fan of this card. Thank you. Say go. By that I mean I hate it. Mm -hmm. Gain one off my Inventor's Fair. Draw. The deck gets out of control pretty quickly. This deck? Yeah. Oh yeah. What makes you say that? Well, I Armageddon you, and this is your board when you had nothing. <laughs> like, two turns later, my dude. <laughs> I'm going to play a treasure vault. Yep. And then I'm just going to pass. Okay. Untap. Mm -hmm. Silver Library. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> My god. Good or bad? Well, two of these are lands. My god. My god. No. Not like this. I'll pay four. Okay. No, I won't, actually. Sorry. I was at 18? Sure. I'm just realizing that um, the reason... I was going to grab a land and the spell. Mm -hmm. uh, but the spell... Let's well, get a land. Seasoned Dungeoneer. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yep. So I don't... Uh, I should have been at 17, right? Three fetches? I just saw the two in my graveyard. Thank you. All right, Seasoned Engineer, uh, the initiative is mine. Okay. This is going to this just shows make how, you start attacking me. Shows how little of the Academy deck really cares about your opponent's life total. It's like, yeah. yeah, I'll believe you. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's go get ourselves an basic land. Okay. Really needed a wasteland off the top there is what I needed. <laughs> You know, as oh, as one does. This ravages of war simply wasn't enough. Would you like to cut? That card. That was the wasteland. <laughs> Tempted to check. We'll find I'll later. Take, I'll take the game off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to play Forest. Yeah. We have a Tireless Provisioner trigger. Yeah. Making ourselves a, another treasure there. Mm-hmm. I don't think a gem or anything. I just want to indicate where I am in the Undercity. I'd like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you attack, target attacking cleric, rogue, or warrior gains protection from creatures, <coughs> and then it also explores. So Renegade Rowler is a warrior. Whoa! Yep. Going to attack, and then when you explore, you reveal the top card of your library. Yeah. It is an Eldritch Evolution. Gulp. That's a very good hit. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, put a plus one, plus one counter on your creature and put that card back 
or put it into your graveyard. It's going to go here. We're going to put a plus one plus one counter onto the Renegade Rallier. I'm going to take four. All right. 14. And uh, let's find out if I die. <clears throat> let's hope so. I hope not. Uh, if you're passing. I'm passing. End of turn. I'm going to tap Academy yep, for in. one, two, three, four, five blue mana. Yep. Uh, Wingus and Dingus here got us up to seven blue mana yep. from Urza. Or an invention? What are we doing here? Uh, no. Eight, nine blue mana, or nine mana, ten mana. Okay. So I have ten in the pool. Yep. Uh, I'm going to crack Treasure Vault, yeah. making five treasures. Yep. It's funny, this card, well, I was so excited about this card when it came out. Uh, and uh, it's for exactly this kind of yeah, play. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you do this kind of play one in every, like, 50 games. But like when, it, you, when you do, you know. <laughs> when you do it, you get to add a bunch more mana with your Tolarian again. Yeah. So I'm going to untap. I'm going to gain one from my Inventor's Fair. Uh, do you, are you sure you have uh, four or more artifacts? It's a little tough to... <laughs> uh, one, uh -huh. two... Oh, that's an Artificer. Oh, okay. Draw. <laughs> My mistake. I'm going to tap two. Okay. You have a blue and a white. And I'm going to cast a Talisman of Dominance. Okay. This adds a blue and a black. Storm count is one. I'm going to then... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh-wee. I mean, that's kind of a hot hit. Let's do... As much as I want to. You have 10 have artifacts? Orders. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add 10 blue mana. <clears throat> I'm going to use a treasure and two of this blue mana to cast Wheel of Fortune. I discard a Tireless Tracker. I'm going to discard a Bring Delight that Boromir really mucked. Oh! Uh, and a base scout. All right, draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll keep. <laughs> uh, Mull? No, it's fine. I'm going to go to six yeah. blue mana, and I'm going to cast Grim Monolith. Yeah. I'm going to go to five blue mana. I'm going to cast Voltaic Key. Untap target artifact? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go to four blue mana and cast Retrofitter Foundry. That's oh, why I'm going to need to read this one. This one's got a lot of text. Yep. Untap the Foundry, create a servo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play a Monomo as my land for the turn. This lets me uh, pay a blue tap to untap target legendary permanent. Yes. Um. I'm going to use four mana, four blue mana that I have floating, and crack my Inventor's Fair to tutor for any artifact. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to grab the Rings of Bright Hearth. Well, every commander player in chat just stood Start up and went, oh, yeah. I yeah, 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 the yeah. rings! Yeah, he's got it, he's got it. Yeah, this is a card where you should have seen the looks on people's faces when I started playing this card in Highlander. Oh yeah, they're like, what does this do? It's just, what is this commander card? <laughs> a goofy card? You paid how much money for this? Before this was the only copy. And, and then uh, you started killing people well, with it? Yeah. All right, so that's in your hand. Okay. I'm going to tap this Grim Monolith, and yeah. I'm going to cast this the Rings of Bright Earth. So let me just make sure I understand what's about to happen here. Sure. You are going to activate Monomo. Would you Tar like me to explain it? Targeting, no, I got it. Targeting your Grim Model, uh, targeting your Telerian Academy, and then yeah. with a trigger on the stack, you're gonna double the mana to get a second untap, and then between the first untap and the second untap, you're going to tap the Academy to float a billion mana? Uh, not how I would have worded it, but yes. Okay. Resolves. I am going to yeah. tap my Rings of Bright Hearth with yeah. Urza to add yeah. a blue mana. Okay. And I'm going to tap Monomo, yeah. targeting my legendary permanent Tolarian yeah. Academy. Yeah. This causes a triggered ability from Rings of Bright Hearth. Okay, I'm going to respond to the triggered ability while that's on the stack. Sure. And while Monomo is targeting. I'm going to crop rotation my forest for a wasteland and destroy your academy. Uh... I was like, I'm like nervous here trying to find the window. And I think this is the window. 
That's a pretty good draw. Um, let me think. I mean, this is fine. Yeah, you can, I have you a triggered ability that. off the Tyler's Provisioner. We're making that. I'd like sure. to wasteland the Academy. Okay. It's uh, not much of an opening, but it's an opening. So I am not going to... I'm going to... Uh, choose say not no to copy. Yeah. To copy. Yeah. Um, you have how many cards in your hand? Uh, six. <laughs> you just wheeled me, brah. <laughs> A bunch of these creatures. He's maybe still in it. We're not sure. <laughs> so I could go again. You can try and wheels again. I could try to go again. I mean, yeah. My God. I do have nine mana. Still? How? Four, five, six, seven. Oh eight, right. Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got another wheel. You know what they say, if the first wheel fails, wheel, wheel again, right? Yeah, this Boromir is a little annoying, though. How can I kill you? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So my creatures are 13, 13. So. Yeah, and I'm I'm probably just chumping one with Giver of Runes. And um, maybe the second one? I don't know. As the way the math stands currently, I think I take the hit, because I can't really sacrifice Boromir to get my, my board indestructible. How about... Because then you're online with Urza. How about I... Untap my Azoria Signet. And then I tap two, or tap the Retrofitter Foundry to add a blue and then filter it with the Azoria Signet. How about I cast... So hold on, what are you, what are you, what are you actually floating? Well, now I'm floating blue-white. Oh, you untapped and then tapped one, now you got blue-white. Yeah. Okay, yeah. blue-white, yes. I'm gonna cast Balance. What is the wording on balance? Uh, we each choose uh, hands, lands, creatures, and sacrifice the rest. Sacrifice. Okay, I didn't know if I could give indestructible there. Man, who balances in twenty twenty three? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that's frustrating. That you makes... wastelanded my academy. No, 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 no. You're the bad guy here. What? <laughs> uh, neat. Wait, I have to sacrifice a land. This is the worst. Wait, yeah. how many cards do you have in hand? I got two. My guy! Yeah, well... This is all bad. Yeah, I know. All right, so uh, what's the order? Uh, you go through lands, okay. and then you go through hands, right. and then you go through creatures. Lands is going to be this bayou. Mm -hmm. uh, hand? Yeah. I'm going to discard four cards. Questing Beast, Voice of Resurgence, Land, Land. Creatures. <clears throat> you gotta get rid of two. You gotta get rid of two. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the Renegade Rallier and the Giver of Runes. Okay. I'd like to go to combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. like to attack you for 26. You have access to four mana. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only get one more artifact here. No, you can no, you have to tap to sacrifice a treasure, so you can't double get it off of Urza. Correct. Twenty-seven. What am I getting? So I've got the Eldritch Evolution in hand. And I'm just asking myself, I don't have any six drops in the deck. So I can easily chump block with a seasoned engineer. I think I need to keep the tireless provisioner to um, to build back up. I need to keep Boromir. <clears throat> Actually, maybe maybe Boromir dies. Oh well, I know he dies. I've read the books. <laughs> maybe Boromir dies, so I take zero this turn. Because you can't make five more mana to spin the wheel here. Have you played a land for the turn? Yes, you I played did. Manamo. I played Manamo. And do I kill you the turn after this? That's the question. I'll uh, I'll block block sack Boromir. Sure. Making my creatures indestructible until end of turn. You got two cards in hand. I got two cards. And in you hand. didn't discard that Eldritch Evolution. I did not discard that Eldritch Evolution. I'm going to tap three of my treasures. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to cast a Windfall. I'm not sacrificing them. I'm tapping them to Urza. So we both discard two and then draw two. Yeah. You get Prismatic Ending and Eldritch Evolution. Those are good hits. They're good hits. That's what I'm hoping They're for. They're good hits. Uh, I have another treasure token here to represent untapped ones. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm a liar. I grabbed two clue tokens. 
Don't know why. Uh, I'm discarding a seat with a sign on. Okay. <laughs> this guy. Did you draw Eldritch Evolution again? How'd you know? Ooh, that's actually kind of hot. Um, I'm going to tap this treasure token. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To play Manifold Key. Okay. It's another Voltaic Key, except it has an activated ability of pay three generic. Target creature becomes unblockable. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. And then I'm going to play a Chrome Ox. Okay. And I'm going to imprint nothing. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I need to. I need you to close your eyes for a second. And I need, I need to let people know what I drew. Because uh, really, I think these would be upgrades. Pretty strict upgrades. All right. <laughs> you drew a Chrome Mox? All right, keep going. All right, uh, Sylvan Library. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. First off, upkeep. I, uh, I've maintained the initiative. So I get to go to the Lost Wall and scry to before okay. draw step. Sure. Scry, scry. AKA bottom bottom. Mm -hmm. and then we Sylvan Library. Those are all bad. Good. Well, bad. You're at 15? Yeah. This is a problem. Yeah. Pay four. Okay. I'm at 13. Land for the turn. Okay. I just killed myself to manifold <clears throat> key. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> well, I think I was dead to it anyways because you you attacked for fourteen last time, and you can make you could untap that. Well, I can also um, copy the manifold. Yeah, key, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I can make yeah, two yeah. things make them unblockable. Both okay, so I need I need an answer. Food or treasure? Maybe the food saves me, which is very funny. So I can get in with a seasoned dungeoneer that does nothing. It does attack you. Which doesn't really matter all that much right now anyways. Land. Okay. Uh, it's an arid mesa. Yeah. I'm going to make a food token. Okay. Twelve plus six. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16. So I have two 16 16s. You have two 16 16s right now. Yep. And you can make... Maybe your mana's tight enough that you can't get to 18. Well, this also does mean that I have 16 mana. Because I can... I mean, not technically, because if I want to tap... Yeah, these. and some of it doesn't untap right now either. Yeah, dude. I can clear up my board too. Am I? Am I? Am I mathematically dead? I yeah, can't. Before I can. Before I continue with my turn. <laughs> I cannot answer that question because I don't have the information you have. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Does that change the math? Sorry. Take your time. So I have to put four mana aside to crack the treasure tokens. That gives me access to two mana. The food token. Pardon me? Well, you said treasure token. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The food tokens there. I'll make you play it out. Okay. Which is totally fine. Um, I like playing magic. Yeah. So I think I'm supposed to attack you either way here. <clears throat> attack you with Seasoned Engineer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to uh, give it protection from creatures. Yep. I get to explore. Yep. Ooh, actually, that might change the math here. Okay. Because if I hit a land, what did I leave on top? Oh, crap. <laughs> we still have library. I left land on top. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay. Does this change the math? So uh, because we've explored, 
I put this directly into play. No, into your hand. <laughs> you didn't play around Ixalan. No, I did not. Much, did put you? that card into your hand if it's a land. I already played a land. Okay, I'm not a genius. All right, it's on the way. Well, I'll get a refresher. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to take three. Uh, Twelve. Which is worth it. Oh, man, I thought it ramped you. No, this card's bad. That's fair. Terrible. Unplayable. Stone. <laughs> not stone a... <laughs> unplayable. Yeah. Card's bad. They should print a better version of it in the next set. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm going to play my second blocker, which is the Elvish Mystic. Yeah. Go. At a turn, I'm going to tap Chrome Ox off Urza to untap my Grim Monolith. Yes. And then I'm going to untap my permanents. Ooh. Well, let's do this first. Uh, I'm going to one, I'm going to tap three to activate Manifold Key, mm. uh, making this construct unblockable. Mm -hmm. I've got an Urza trigger. Uh, I'm going to. Sorry, what do you mean, Urza trigger? Or sorry, I got a, a, a Ooh, Rings of Brighter. Yeah, trigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. In which I'm going to tap this Chrome Mox and this Ring off of Urza to copy it to target the other one. So okay. Two unblockable constructs. Yes. I'm going to tap one and play Sensei's Divining Top. Okay, 15 artifacts. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, these two. I'll go to 12. I'll fetch myself a land. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 artifacts. 16 artifacts, correct. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Uh, this comes into play. <clears throat> I make a second food. Yep. Uh, I sacrifice them both. I go to 18. Okay. I cannot block. Okay. All right. Uh, you're going to take uh, 32. Right. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> Two of them. What am I doing? I don't know. I, I don't thought know. you. I thought no, you had no, like no, fatal no, no, push no, 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 or something. No, 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 no. I, I, for whatever reason, I don't <laughs> know. I, my brain. <laughs> like, like 32. I just had to count to 16. It made me think. It made me think. <laughs> I, I, I double goose on myself. Man, the second, the windfall. I, of all the back and forth in this whole game, the fact that this game was won by a windfall is very funny to me. Mm. Very funny to me. Good example of what this deck, what I mean when I say that this deck is no longer just, oh, my academy got blown up? Uh, okay, I'm dead. It was close, right? though. No, no. Do you want me to be genuine? I don't think it was close to being close. You don't even think it was close to being close? No. I, because I'm untapping. You could get rid of both my car instructs there. Yeah. And then I just have an Urza with rings. So that means for seven mana, I get to cast two free spells off the top of my deck. Admittedly random, yeah. but my deck is filled with, well, cards that let me do that more or cards sure. that let me draw my deck. If I sit, if I, I don't want to look right now. I'm just wondering what I was going to Eldritch Evolution into as well. Because that gets, yeah, between, like the two cards I had in hand are pretty strong. I think actually I Savine's wreck your ring. Is what I Savine's wreck there. Well, if you hit the rings, um, if I'm still on like the manifold key plus the car instructs, yeah. then I can just voltaic key my manifold key. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So we were in a we we're in a world of hurt, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I that think was so. a very fun game, though. I think so. It was a good one. Did you like that ravages? Um, you think it was a little too early? You got to go pretty fast. You got to be pretty disruptive. I, I like cutting off my saga. And you had the yeah. mox and the provisioner. I think yeah. it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's not the kind of ravages I would hope to make every game, no, but I no. think that given... well, on the on the draw and given the board state with the saga. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. So this is go. This goes out to all those people that are like, "Oh, the initiative is everywhere. How do I beat it?" It's like, well, just kill them. Just kill them. Five head. Yeah. Yeah. Simply attack for thirty-two unblockable. Truthfully, I do think that academy decks are underrepresented. Really? People, I just don't think there's enough people playing them for how busted it they is. are. Sure. Um, and I think partially that is either because some of the cards can be a bit pricey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or they these decks hold this idea that they're really difficult, and like I think most magic's pretty difficult, but like a lot of other sure. decks, the more you play, the more you just like. Yeah. 
I mean, when you're talking about complexity, I wonder if people worry about it. Something like Storm too. You're like, I don't know if I could ever pilot this. Storms deck. for babies. It's so oh, easy. Oh. It's genuinely, it's so easy, oh. especially with Underworld Breach. It's hand holding. Sure. Um, yeah. You want to play? You want to play a tough deck? Play like RDW. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? That deck's harder than it looks. But exactly. It's, it's yeah, not yeah. the like. Yeah, because uh, people are always like, "Oh, burn is so brainless." You're like, "The counting is hard, man." <laughs> it's not brainless, but it's also not like as difficult as um, some of the uh, like four color decks can be to pilot. You're fine. All right, good luck, friend. Good luck. But yeah, just play Academy. It's Simpl good against, uh, it's, good at it's good at killing people. Let's put it that way. I can't keep one land elf elf. As much as I want to keep one land elf elf, I can't keep one land elf I elf. I wouldn't keep one land elf elf. Yeah. One land elf elf Sylvan Library? No. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to keep this. Oh, there's another elf elf on top. Oh, good. <laughs> I love elf elf. It's my favorite back to back Christmas movies. <laughs> what are you doing this December? Oh, you know, elf elf, elf elf. I've never seen it. I haven't either. But did you know? Here's a little trivia uh, Victoria, there's a Victoria Magic. Uh, player that is in that movie. Who? Uh, Pat B. Wait. Not, not Pat Pat. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah, he huh. plays an elf. He's got speaking roles. Really? Yeah. It, it, is that like a thing he does a lot or just kind of randomly showed up in, on this one movie? I think he used to do it a bit. Really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah. There, there you go. Cool trivia. Yeah, that is cool trivia. All right, you're cutting me to the gas. The gas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Keep yeah, okay. Good luck. Thank you, you too. Would you like to put one card from your hand on the bottom of your library? <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, would you like to is probably not the correct way of working uh, that. But. No, but... <laughs> Uh, Fabled Passage. Mm -hmm. Go. Underground Sea. Oh. Mox Diamond. Oh. No. I'll pitch Odawara. Yep. Talisman of Dominance. Yep. Stop. Manifold Key. Jesus. Go ahead. My turn, this is not the one that pays life. My turn is going to be so much more awkward after this. You have no idea. Well, you're about to find out. What do you think is the most feel bad spell that you could play following this particular turn? I'm curious. I mean, Thalia is still pretty good if it's Thalia. It is Thalia. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got two mana Thalia. Just being like, oh, well, you got, you're untapped with three mana. Well, four. If right, I have a normal... a land. Yeah. Well, sorry. Technically, with this land, I'm tapping like with six? three, four, oh, five. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God, if you had the Academy in hand again. Did you? That, you had it in your starter, didn't you, last time? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. All right, uh, draw for the turn. Uh, we're going to go for a basic forest into Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Sure. Man, or I should have mulled to a box Th Thalia start. <laughs> Cards in hand? Uh, four. The finger was the mouth counting. These are the Wheeler Tells. Deserted Temple. God, thank God. If you had played a cat there. <laughs> <laughs> um, go. Untap. Draw for the turn. Uh, marsh Flats. Crack Marsh Flats. 19. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get ourselves a... Savannah. If you insist. All right, I know Wheeler plays crop rotation. Yep. So crop rotation can make a 
three three construct and kill my Thalia. Not now. If I crop rotation, Saga only comes with one count. Right. I'm just wondering if there's any instant speed kill my Thalia that I have to play around in your deck list. Uh, I don't think there is. There's one. There is one. Orcish Bowmasters. Right. Well, that kills it either way. Yeah. If I attack or not. Yeah. So that doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm going to play Renegade Rallier again. Yep. And return the Marsh Flats to play. I'm mm -hmm. going to crack it a second time. I'm going to get the Scrubland. I'm going to cast a Shadow Spear. Uh, you can't. Thalia makes it cost one more. Correct. Uh, I'm just going to attack you. Uh, I'm going to flash in this Orcish Bow Mask. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like, that's not a magic card. Yeah. Hold on a second. Why is it so small? <laughs> like, uh, uh, Bowmaster France. Yeah, yeah, all right, go I'll ahead. Speaking of like 30 year old references. End of turn. I'm going to capsize. No buyback. I'm going to bounce Thalia. Four mana. <laughs> Untap. Yeah. yeah. Draw. Oh, you did end turn, so I can't play the Shadow Spear. <laughs> um, that's kind of hot. Would you like to cut? Cool. I'm going to play a Mana Confluence. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap for four. Uh, and you take one. one. Yeah. I guess I should tap like sure. this. <laughs> I'm going to play Everflowing Chalice on two. Yeah. Um, tap for two generic mana. I'm going to use one to untap it. Tap for two more generic mana. So I'm at three. I guess technically it's colorless. Uh, I'm going to then take one, adding a blue, and using uh, two of the generic, going to one colorless in the pool. I'm going to cast Windfall. Draw four. Uh, Thalia, Shadow Spear, land, land. Okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Uh, I'm going to cast Soul Ring. And I'm going to cast Talisman of Progress. Okay. And I'm going to pass. Untap. Untap. He didn't say anything for his draw four, and that's scary. That either means that you drew... Something extra spicy. What do you got? Well, I got a Vernon Catacombs. I knew it. I know, I know. Uh, two mana. We've got a Luminarch Aspirant. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So go to attacks, hit you for four. Yeah. Uh, and then second main, I'm going to crack that down to 17. I'm just going to grab the first land that I can. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a basic forest, and you've only made my Thalia more powerful. No, not the other Thalia. She's a heretic Cathar now. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, go. Might act, I don't know if it's better. It's good. It's a different kind of good. <laughs> Each one more powerful than the last. Oh. Remember when I said that this deck's not that hard to play? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was lying. I was lying. What are you doing for me? You're probably doing that. One, I'm two, hitting three. you for nine next turn, so. That's a lot of damage. That's the hope. That's a lot of damage. Oh, but I can do that. Sorry, I'm going to have to be in the tank for a quick second here. Do you want to shout out like store.learningreadyrun.com or something? You know, we got new hoodies. They're very cute. There's a video that went live on September 1st where I'm modeling in it. It's merely my model debut. I think it might kickstart a whole new little thing that we're doing. It's like a jersey and they're fancy. Yeah. Also, I guess by the time this episode goes live, uh, you're going to be able to see a whole bunch of us down in Vegas. So, you know, if you feel like gambling on whether we're cool in person or not, <laughs> go say hi. Beach is going to be there with merch as well, which isn't quite the store, but it's, it's store adjacent. So, yeah, hoodie, beach, Vegas. Hoodie, beach, Vegas. Hoodie, beach, Vegas. You had me at hoodie, beach, Vegas. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you have two cards in hand? I have two cards in hand. If I draw a questing beast, you are exaxes. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, blue, blue, and I go to float one colorless. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Tezzeret the Seeker. Mm. Tezzeret has some abilities. Tezzeret has some abilities. I'm going to immediately minus four Tezzeret. Minus four. Man, I'm remembering the old days of like Pat Pod, where you just go get your uh, get your pod off that. Five mana, or four mana pod tutor. So mm. minus four means you can find, does it have to be exactly four or up to four? Uh, it's four or less. Four or less. So mm. yeah, you just, you just get to be like, what, fi- what saves me here? Yeah, I have some lines. Yep. That are cool and good, mm. uh, but I'm a little short. Nostalgia uh, really saved your keister. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for those of you looking at uh, Rings of Bright Hearth lines, I'm one short. I had nothing to do with it. Um, I think I'm going to get the one ring. Yeah, that's a good which, one. Which doesn't that's a trigger. Good one. It doesn't trigger to give me protection, but it is because the one because you didn't ring. cast it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you know. also have a manifold key, so you can you can die to it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> You're good. That is a scary card for your deck. That is a pretty printing of that card as well. Thank you. All right, draw uh, one. I'm gonna draw one. I'm yep. gonna. Oh, I still have this colorless. You still have the colorless here. loading, yeah. And what does casting that do? I'm going to use this one. And activate my manifold key to untap my mox diamond. Interesting. I'm going to then tap one, two, three, four, and I'm going to cast Reap and Sow. Uh, I get to tutor for a land and put it into play, but it comes into play tapped yep. because of Thalia. Yep. So this is where it gets really interesting because I'm going to take one, so I go to twelve. Yeah. And that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you can push for three damage, yep. I'm dead. But yeah. how different is it? Is your deck going to push for three over... Like, I can maybe save myself if I get a very specific card. And I actually think I will. I'm going to get Inventor's Fair. Comes to play tapped. So this way, I have a life gain trigger on my upkeep. But I also think it's, well, don't bend the workshop. Uh, I also think that it's just a reasonable get. I'm also going to play my land for the turn, which is going to be a City of Traders entering play tapped. This just puts it into play. Yeah. You were looking at me for a second, like, wait a second. Yeah, I was okay. trying to process what you were trying to yeah, process. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to pass. Interesting. So I got a couple things that kill you. Okay. Not one of them. Okay, good. Not one you of got a them. Got game. Yeah, but am I just dead next turn? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that's the problem. Because you're going to draw one, two, three, four, five minimum. Minimum. <laughs> off that. Cool. You have one card in hand? I got one card in hand. Yeah. Pog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the kids say. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to pay two life to have this untap in case you wheel me. Okay. Well, I'll wheel you one way or the <laughs> other. Says the wheeler. All right. Um, we're just going to go to attacks. Okay. And we're going to give uh, Thalia the plus one, plus one counter this time. Yep. So you're going to take nine. You're going to go to four. Go to four. And <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think there's any reason... I gotta play around balance. So I got this Goyf in hand. Yeah. I got this Goyf in hand. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to play it or if I'm supposed to leave extra mana up in case you wheel me. Um, Because playing it means you're dead in three ways. You need to make three blockers if you don't kill me. Yeah. You don't find what, a way to do what it. kind of instant speed stuff do you have? That's the real question. I've right. got instant speed removal. I've got abrupt decay. I've got no black mana. I've got one black mana. I was abrupt gonna... decay, assassin's trophy. Orcish bowmaster. Uh, Orcish bowmaster. I've got, oh my god, Orcish bowmaster in response to your ring triggers. Yep. Oh, baby girl. Yep. Uh, I've got, um, I got answers. I probably got 
six or seven hits. I mean, I don't hate playing the Goyf just in case I make like two creatures, you know? Like that's more, it's more, it's easier for me to make two blockers than three blockers in this deck. Um, because I think your biggest restriction is on your black mana, yeah. not on your mana in general. Yep. yep. Um, Charm Goyf. Yeah. Yep. I think I like playing the Goyf. Go. All right, let's see. So I have a couple we, of triggers in my upkeep. Yeah. We got, we got Wheeler dead on board. Uh, I'm going to gain one, and then I'm going to uh, lose one for each bird encounter. So yep. I, I stay at four. Yeah. Okay. Draw set. Not helpful. Um, let's tap this to put a bird encounter on it and draw two. Yep. Also not helpful. Um... Thinking. That's pretty good. Oh, maybe that is helpful. I mean, you've still got this adventures fair, so like you've got the world's my onion. Yeah, a lot going on here. I'm gonna crack this adventures fair. Yeah, you have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana still. Technically nine because you can untap the salt. So the key right? should be against. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna find paradox Edge. That's a problem. I'm about to introduce to you this card with the one ring. Yeah. It's pretty gross. Um, this is a little... It still has some It's issues. not deterministic. Yeah. 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 It has some issues with spot removal, too, if you have it. But You're I think it's my only play to make here. Um, one, two, three, four... Five. Uh, I'm going to play Paradox Engine. It's only five mana? Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it was six. Okay. All right. Uh, I am then going to tap two. I'm at four. I'm so, going to... Yeah. Go, go to three. To tap two. Going to three. I'm going to cast Is It Signet? Paradox Engine Trigger. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Paradox lock, Engine yeah. Trigger on the stack. I'm going to hold priority and... Uh, pay one to untap my one ring. Yeah. So it untaps. I'm going to then tap it to draw three. Yeah. Uh, and then Paradox Engine Trigger yeah. resolves. It'll untap everything. Yeah. So right now, my mana, this key is likely going to be uh, used for just drawing with the one ring. But as far as my mana goes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six colorless, uh, rainbow, and then I guess this filters into blue, red. So I have five colorless, a blue, a red, and then one of whatever I want. Sure. Um, but effectively eight mana with this nine if I want to start using the ring. Now it's not deterministic, but let me tell you something, buddy. You're yeah, dead. it's it's going to be bad. I'm All right, draw four. One, two, three, four. I also haven't played my land for the turn. Yeah, that's important. Um, I'm going to just. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tap this uh, with the soul ring to add okay. three. So I'm going to add nine mana. Okay. And then what is the other color that's not blue red? Uh, how about it is black mana? Sure. Um, so blue, red, black, and then colorless. Uh, so. Uh, sorry, six. Blue, red, black. I guess I could be untapping my Mox Diamond. This is the point where uh, if this was not a match in front of camera, it, uh, the mana wouldn't matter. Um, I'm going to go to one, and I'm going to use this black so I don't have to track this anymore. I'm going to flash it in Orcish Bowmasters. Paradox Engine's going to trigger. So that's only when I draw a card? Yeah, and on ETB. On ETB, it pings something for one, and I amass one. I take it. You're killing I'm going to kill your Luminar Casper. Yep. Uh, and I get a Orc Army. That's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, I'm going to tap this one ring. Draw five. You ready for a cool anti-synergy search? Yeah, always. Uh, I'm going to tap... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, going up uh, red, two blue, 
uh, and six colorless. Yeah. So eleven. Uh, I'm going to use the two blue and one to cast uh, Narset, Partner Reveals, Paradox Engine Trigger. This just says you can't draw more than one card each turn. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can, now you can wheel me. I can wheel, and you won't. Get in those comments. <laughs> I can't believe you would play. Uh, I'm gonna minus uh, two. Look at the top four, pick a non-creature, non-land, uh, and reveal it. I'm going to reveal a Time Spiral. But wait, that's bad. Yeah, I know. I'm going to tap the one ring and draw six cards. Okay. Ah, oh, my kingdom for my uh, my Orcish Bowmaster. No. Oh, that's fair. I mean, for you? Yeah. No. No. Uh, how do I want to kill you? That's a good question. How do you want to kill me? Six. I'll add plus nine. Yeah, we can stop cal counting color yeah. lists, but the colored man is important. Um, no. No, it's not? No. Okay. It's not. Okay. So for the sake of the viewer yeah. and for expediting this, yeah, yeah, yeah. the colored mana is not going to be important. Okay. Because I'm about to play a series of cards that will allow me to add colored mana without actually affecting my Sick. All right, hit me. Hit me. Uh, so, so I'm going... Have, we're going to say you have functionally infinite mana. Yeah. I'll still track the actual amount of mana, but right. I'm not going to track the yeah, colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going plus nine on 13 here, so I'm at 22. Okay. I'm going to go down to 20 mana and cast Defense Grid. Paradox Engine Trigger. You have to remind me of that one. That's I uh, can't cast spells on your turn? Spells played on each other player's turn cost three more to cast. Okay. <laughs> so just some real insurance here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap the one ring and draw seven cards. Okay. I'm going to play a land for turn. Is it the Academy? It's uh, okay. Shocked, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm going to then use... I mean, I guess I'll tap this just to make extra sure. I go up to 21 mana, yeah. and then I'm going to use three of that going down to 18 to transmute Teleria West. Okay. To get a zero cost thingy. Yeah. I'm going to grab Pact of Negation. I feel... Just to be extra, extra sure? I feel so confident that you're dying that there, the only way it could, I could get God is if you just have some sick sandbagged card in your hand. Um, so just in case. Yeah. What are you going to kill me with? I'm just going to whisk, walking ballista you. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I had the... I had a swords. Okay. It was my one card in hand. So I did have, I did have a removal spell. Yeah. Let me, let me just show the yeah, exact yeah, yeah, cards no, 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 for please, people yeah. at home. So Simic Signet here. I mean, yeah. I have the Mox Diamond for green. This is just going to represent green, blue. Uh, I have a Bring Delight here, which says, uh, search my library for a creature, instant, or sorcery with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of colors spent to cast this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cast it with five colors of mana. Yeah. From Signet, Signet, Mox Diamond, etc. cetera. Um, so I can get any creature, instant, or sorcery and uh, put it into my hand. Which means I'm going to cast Fabricate. Fabricate is then going to tutor for an artifact, which is going to be Walking Ballista. I just assumed you had it in your hand. You had 30 cards in hand? Yeah, about that. I yeah, have, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah, the yeah, other yeah. artifacts that I have just to like, I'm going to cast these and every time I cast these, they're going to add more mana, yep. et cetera. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to Ballista you into the dirt. Yeah. That's fair. Oh. A valiant effort. I feel like I died to wheel again. <laughs> that's usually what happens with this Yeah, card. that's all good. Man! Academy. It felt like an Academy matchup, honestly. Like yeah. you're very, very close. You have that one turn. Did you get, you feel like you got lucky no. off your draws there? No. Really? If I got lucky, you're not getting a turn two. Or a turn three. Well, I mean, off the case where you just had the wheel, and you, or you just had the ring and you had to draw. Well, you had ring and you also had... Um, so this is... I'm going to use this as my public service announcement for playing against Academy or Storm or any combo deck like this that is just, this deck has like one goal, right? Sure. And so all this deck is wheels, tutors, right. 
and then ways of generating yeah, like yeah, infinite yeah, yeah, mana. Yeah, yeah, and I'll yeah, count yeah. the one ring in like the tutors or we or sorry in the wheels. It's I mean messed up magic cards, right? Uh, and so it might feel like they're like oh they always have this or they always well, no, have there's that. Well, there's redundancy, yeah. But that's the whole point of the deck. Sure. The deck's designed to always you have, have enough density it. there. And I guess the life totals don't really matter. You're like I'm either at zero or I have enough. To get yeah. there on the on the combo turn, right? Sometimes it matters when I when I pivot to like the Urza Saga or Retrofitter sure, Foundry sure, beat sure, down, sure, sure. but most of the time it doesn't really matter. Like See? I have the danger zone, and then I have the like, oh, I got an extra turn, which is like why I could have uh, windfalled on the turn when you played Thalia. Oh man, I. Having the Thalia and watching you play three artifacts in the first turn, I'm just like, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I could have, I could have bent, like I could have windfalled there and let you draw, and I get the the draw off there. But I I have this cap size, and I feel like I'm not being pressured. sure. Yeah, well, so yeah, I'm, yeah. So you can take extra turns, my yeah. friend. Thank GGs. you very much. Thank you for the games. Thank you for the games. Yeah. And you, viewer, thank you for watching to North 100 Showdown, the Canadian Highlander. Uh, I was worried you, it was something else. No, no, no. no. Okay. It'll never be anything else. <laughs> uh, if you like what you saw, uh, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Or maybe support us over at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Because of all of you, uh, there's all of this. And if you want information on the deck list or the format, you can check the description down below. I've been Ben. This is, was Surge, RIP. I, yeah, uh, and Ben was on tech. I'll oh. miss Surge. He, uh, he was just such a great guy. To go infinite against. You know? <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, yeah, sad honk noises. Sad honking. Bye!